here's my uh, Hubson H501S GPS FPV quad that I've modified to carry a Runcam 2 HD camera. Uh, I have the camera mounted on a downward angle onto a anti-vibration platform to reduce vibration. The drone has an FPV camera in the front of the nose that uh, has pretty good resolution but it's not very stabilized. Uh, it gets a little bit of jello effect from the vibration so I made the uh, anti-vibration -vib mount uh, attach that to reduce vibration. It's not a gimbal, it's not going to stabilize the video per se. And I also had to manufacture a, a homemade uh, set of landing skids out of a uh, coat hanger wire and hot glue because the uh, drone has such a low to the ground profile. So I had to get it up, get it up off the ground. On the right hand side you see that, that yellow device that's a a tracking device. It's got an accelerometer inside of it. Uh, when you turn it on and any motion stops at all you get a very loud piercing beep for about two, two and a half hours. Helps you find your drone if it goes down. They're pretty cool. I have the uh, platform duct taped on for now just for testing to see how the bird handles the load. Eventually I'll clean it up, take off the duct, duct tape and put some Velcro straps on it to make it look a little cleaner.
We now have uh, multiple drones for our research. Uh, the two drones that I personally have are the Hubson 501S and the Phantom 3 Professional. The Phantom 3 Professionals at a repair facility. It's actually has been fixed and it's being shipped back to me t today. Uh, the controller had to be replaced. That's a long story. I picked up the Hubson 501S in the event that I wouldn't have the Phantom back for the uh, September expedition. So uh, I got the Hubson and the Runcam 2 because I wanted a separate camera system that was uh, resistant to vibration. So the test went really well. I was happy with the way the Hubson performed. With the extra weight, a couple of things I've noticed. When it's descending, it's a little unstable if you go too fast. It'll start to shimmy and rock. And I also noticed that you know, when you're coming to a stop or you let go of the joysticks and the GPS uh, stops the aircraft, it takes a little bit longer for it to uh, stabilize and stop. So the extra weight is definitely a factor, but uh, I think it worked pretty well. The FPV is pretty good for flying the aircraft, even though the screen and the controller is a little bit small. And I always want to keep my eyes on the aircraft itself. I don't like when it gets out of sight. and Plus the uh, signal will uh, cut out if uh, it's not in line of sight anymore. I'm looking forward to getting the uh, Phantom 3 Professional back. It's a heck of a good drone. Although on the camera, objects in the camera are actually closer than they appear. As I learned with a crash I had a couple uh, outings ago. But I'm looking forward to having both these aircraft for the salmon run so I can fly both aircraft along the river or whatever waterway we camp near looking for activity. So we'll see you soon.